Right, we are looking at uh, the que this question here and we want to solve this question in detail. But to start with, we are focusing on the fact that we have here with us um, a wire um, that is cut into two pieces or a wire is cut into two pieces. The shorter piece is one meter more than half the longer piece. The length of the wire is 28 meters. What is the measure of the um, shorter piece? Okay, so we have this question here with us and we want to solve this question. So first things first, uh, we can just uh, picture the situation and uh, have a sort of a sketch of the wire that is cut. So you have uh, the shorter piece is called it S and uh, the longer piece. So in other words, um, S is uh, means uh, the shorter, the shorter piece. And you have L, which means uh, the longer piece, the longer piece. So now the shorter piece is one meter more than half the longer piece. So we have the shorter piece, and this shorter piece is one meter more than half. So in other words, we are comparing the shorter piece to half the longer piece, and we are saying the shorter piece is one more than half the longer piece. But since it is one more than half, so it means that we must add one on the side, on the other side here, like so. Right, so we have that the length of the wire is 28 meters, and uh, obviously we're looking at the wire beginning from here and ending there, so which means therefore that the shorter piece plus uh, the longer piece actually equals 28 meters, and what is the measure of the shorter piece? Okay, so we have uh, this situation um, here with us. Okay, so this obviously implies therefore that uh, we can uh, make uh, the shorter piece the subject of the equation so that this is 28 minus L and this here is equation 2 and this here is actually equation 1 like so. So in other words we have that um, S equals half L plus 1 um, is equation one, and so we have that the other one, which is uh, s equals twenty eight minus l. S equals uh, twenty eight minus l, which is equation two, like so. Right, because one we can equate one to two because. Um, they're both equal to S, so that we have 28 minus L equals, um, or you can say, just to, to do it uh, as stated, you can just uh, say here, because 1 is actually 1 half L plus 1, which is uh, 28 minus L. So that now you have one half L plus L, it is one and a half, which is three over two L equals 27. You divide by three and multiply by two so that L equals 18. If L equals 18, so the shorter piece, we can use um, equation two, so we can even indicate here using two, using equation two, because equation two says that S equals 28 minus L, which is 28 minus 18, 10. Right, so we have that, uh, we can use any of the equations so that we have that uh, S is 10. And obviously looking at the question, the question was, what is the measure of the shorter piece? 
Hence, the shorter piece is uh, 10 meters. Right, the shorter piece is 10 meters. But obviously that is what they wanted us to, to determine. And obviously this one here is the longer piece. And so you could say that um, thus the longer piece, the longer piece is uh, 18 meters, like so. Okay, so the longer piece is 18 meters and the shorter piece is 10 meters. And uh, we have solved this question in detail and uh, we have uh, the two results, the 10 meters and the 18 meters. You know, um, I mean, we can verify that indeed the shorter piece is 10 and, and, and the longer piece is 18. So if you have to compare the two to say the shorter piece is uh, actually one more than half the longer piece, because if you take half the longer piece, half of 18 is nine, and the shorter piece is 10. You can see that the shorter piece is one more than nine. Okay, so and hence uh, this confirms uh, the statement that we had here that the Y is cut into two pieces, the shorter piece is one more, is one meter more than a half the longer piece. Okay, and we've answered this question and we've solved it in detail. So thanks everybody for your time and goodbye to you.